show you how you can use GeoGebra to make mandala-like drawings. So I loaded up GeoGebra and as you can see I only use the graphics window. So over here in the bar you can choose like to only have the graphics window open and not any of the others to disturb what you're doing. The tool you're going to use is the circle tool. Here you have the circle and I choose the one that's called circle with center through point. I'm going to select that and then I'm just going to click and draw a circle. And then I can go to the point tool and make a point. This is going to be my center point for the drawing. Then there is this fun tool called rotate around point. I'm going to select that, select the circle and select the point which I'm going to rotate around. Then I get this window. And here I can choose the 45 degrees angle. I'm fine with that. That means I can have eight repetitions of my pattern, which is cool for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around so I have all eight circles. Then next, I'm going to make another circle to make my drawing a bit more interesting. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag out. And here you see I made another circle and I'm just going to go ahead and make one more. So I'm just going to put it kind of there. That's cool for me. Okay. And then I'm again going to take the tool, uh, rotate around point and I'm going to rotate the circle I just drew around the point. And just like before, eight times. And now I'm just going to take the move tool. And I'm going to move the things a little bit around so it looks a little bit better. And this is also one that I'm going to um, rotate around the point. So I'm going to select it again, click the point, and have that repeated eight times. Right now I have a pretty chaotic image. And I'm just going to take the move tool and I'm going to adjust a little bit in it until I like the way it looks. This is a pretty fun tool to just play around with. See what you can do in trying to create some pretty fun, cool, interesting, beautiful images. So I'm just going to go out and make one more circle. So I have four circles. Take the circle with center th through point and I'm going to drag out and make my fourth circle. It's going to be right there and just like all the other ones, I'm going to take the rotate tool. So rotate around point and I'm going to select again the C point, that's the center, all eight times around here in my image. And again I'm going to grab the move tool and I'm just going to figure out exactly where I like the circle and how big I want it and stuff like that. And there we have it. So now we don't want to look at all these points all over the place. They don't look very nice. We don't want them in our image. So there's this tool where you can actually show and hide objects. So I'm going to press that and then I'm going to go around and clicking all of them. And after I've done that and choose another tool, you see they're all gone. So they're not disturbing the image anymore. Now I'm just going to go down and grab my uh, screenshot tool and I'm going to take a new screen screenshot, screen cut. Uh, right here, I'm going to make sure the entire image is within the cut and choose it right there. And then I just go ahead and save it where I like to have it saved. Then I load up uh, Microsoft Paint and I choose open and I find it, the screenshot I just made. I load it in. And now I can go ahead and color it whichever colors I like. I like blue and green colors. So those are the ones you see right here that I'm using. So I just color the entire image right there and the detailing in there. Then I can just save it. And then I have a cool little piece of artwork that I've done with GeoGebra. So that's it. Enjoy. Enjoy.